Hello, you wonderful people. Uh, today we're going to be going over uh, something called a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, uh, cyclic quadrilateral uh, is a noun. It's a a cyclic quadrilateral um, is a uh, is a four-sided polygon uh, inside or a word you're going to see a lot is inscribed in a circle. So for example, if I drew something like this, if I drew something like this, this would be a cyclic quadrilateral, four straight sides inside a quadrilateral. So you have four uh, straight sides because it is a quadrilateral. And the fact that it is inscribed means the corners of the polygon touch the circle. The polygon here is just your quadrilateral. Okay. Uh, all right, and when I say the corners, I'm talking about like right here, right here, right here, right here. All right. Um, so this is a quadrilateral inscribed in a uh, this is a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. Uh, maybe I'll write right here. Okay, so that's this picture right here. And if you have a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle, that is a cyclic quadrilateral. Um, there is a word that is close to this that I want us to talk about. Um, sometimes you might see something written as an inscribed circle. This is actually the exact opposite. Uh, this would be a, uh, so if you had, so for example, an inscribed circle uh, of a triangle, this right here, uh, this word inscribed right here is an adjective. That is modifying the word circle. And this is actually um, a circle in a triangle. So this picture would actually be a circle When you have an inscribed uh, circle, um, the uh, the circle is um, oh, I am so sorry. 
I also I just drew this wrong. I knew that seemed weird to me. Uh, so because this is a circle inside of a triangle, I just. Sorry about that. So circle inside of a triangle, this is an inscribed circle. And for your inscribed circle, uh, one of the properties of this is that the sides uh, is uh, the sides of the uh, polygon uh, will be perpendicular to the radius of the circle. So, for example, uh, the sides is this right here, this right here, this right here. And if we were to draw some of the radiuses, you should be able to draw a radius that it forms 90 degrees to the side of the uh, polygon. I can draw one here, and that also forms 90 degrees. I can draw one here, that also forms 90 degrees. Okay, so this is inscribed circle of a triangle. This is a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. Uh, here, this word inscribed is acting as a verb saying this noun is um, inside of this direct object circle. All right. Now, let's say that I had a Let's say that I had a uh, inscribed quadrilateral. All right. Um, If you know that this side over here is, uh, let's say, if I know that this side over here is, let's say, uh, 40 degrees, and I'm gonna label some of these just to make my life easier. We'll call it has center C. We'll call this D, E, and F over here. Okay. So if this is 40 degrees, um, I want us to try to figure out how much this angle is right here. I'm going to have you guys pause the video right now, and I want you to just take a guess. If this is 40, how much do you think this side is? Okay, and we're gonna prove the sensor right here. All right, and I'm gonna do a nice two column proof. So on this side, I'm gonna have my statement. And over here, 
I'm going to have my reasoning. Okay, and the question is, if angle DHF is equal to 40 degrees, uh, what is the measure of angle DEF? So this is a question we're going to try to answer right now. All right, so first, statement number one. We know that uh, angle DHF is equal to 40 degrees. Uh, how much, um, what is the reasoning for this? Uh, I hope you wrote down given the word given means that they told you in the problem okay so this is step one all right okay next on our picture here I'm gonna draw something extra And draw this. Okay, and we know from last week's lesson that angle DCF is equal to how much? Right. I hope you wrote 80 degrees. Okay. And the reason is that inscribe angle, that's my red one, times 2 will end up equaling my central angle and that's this one right here so this is 40 then over here this is 80 degrees all right next one how much is this angle over here. Okay, so this right here this is talking about this angle. When you see that M is pronounced measure. So the measure of the arc DHF and that arc DHF just talks about if we start at D, we go to H, then go to F. What is that central angle? All right. I hope you wrote 280 degrees. And the reason for that, the reason I know that this is going to be 280 degrees, because every circle is 360 degrees. So if this side's 80, and the whole thing is 360, then 360 minus 80 is 280. Okay, and finally, our very last step. 
what is this angle that we were looking for in our question? All right, I hope you wrote down 140 degrees. And it's for the same reason as number two. Because I know that this angle right here, which is my inscribed angle, I know if I multiply that times 2, it should equal the angle in the middle. So let's look at this one more time. So this was 40, so this was 80. Um, you can think of it as the middle one, divide two is this one, or you think of this one times two is this one. Okay, and I can just flip my picture around. And same thing, uh, this one divided by two should be this one. Or this one times two is that one. All right. If you have any questions, uh, please come to my office hours and ask me about them. Hope you wonderful people have a nice rest of your day.